Tell them your name. My name's Harrison, and I'm the daredevil of Kine Motorsports, and I'm also the son of the president of Kine Motorsports. And yeah, this green thunder bike um, is capable of going 30 miles an hour, and it's my main bike. Okay. So a little bit about this bike. It has a rear hub motor, and this is a uh, Muxus hub motor. It's actually a, a specially built uh, motor. Uh, because of the BMX, uh, with a fairly narrow dropout, this is actually only about a 110 millimeter dropout on this bike, we uh, special ordered this motor. It's a front motor that normally fits in a front, front uh, fork, but instead of uh, uh, a front fork we actually have them uh, from the factory swap out the the cover plate for the drive side so that it had a freewheel so this is the front motor with a freewheel cover plate on the right side which we put a single speed uh, freewheel on and then uh, mounted it up into the bike frame the frame itself is a is a Hero bike frame uh, back trail x2 and uh, it's got some pretty beefy dropouts, uh, about uh, six millimeter thick dropouts with uh, tensioners built in. So that makes it a pretty good uh, choice for mounting a relatively low powered hub motor. Um, for the controller, we uh, recently just upgraded the controller. This is a 12 FET IRFB 37.7 uh, controller so it's good for up to 75 volts and about 60 amps um, it's, it's pretty powerful we've also upgraded the battery here to uh, if you look closely here you can see three packs these are 4s by 10 amp hour multi stars and uh, we've connected the three packs in series so it's a total of uh, 12 cells uh, 10 amp hours 44.4 volts nominal for the connection, I swapped out the uh, XT90 connectors for some uh, Anderson power pull connectors. Uh, this is uh, very common to what uh, Christopher Parham, uh, also known as Ice Cube uh, on the Endosphere, uh, his system for uh, doing uh, parallel and uh, serial uh, connections with Anderson connectors. This is pretty slick actually. So uh, we've got our parallel, parallel slash serial Anderson connector here and uh, runs through a pre-charge connector to the controller and then just your standard e-bike connectors up to our main display power on button is here so you press that button in and then control on the right turns the, uh, the display on if you press the center button a couple of times you'll get the nominal voltage, uh, so we're running at about 46.4 volts right now. Alright, so why don't you take it for a quick spin, Harry? Mm. Big man, small bike. So yeah, 30 miles an hour. Ah! Don't run over me. Maybe I should sell his bike, huh? <laughs> 